What have you been doing in your retirement? I've, I've had the opportunity. I took a job with ESPN as an NFL analyst, so I get to evaluate all 32 teams, and I go up and I participate on shows. You know, I just get to talk about the game that I love so much, and then I also work with the Colts in business development. So I get uh, I go to all the home games and get to hand, hang out with uh, suite holders and sponsors and then go to different meetings uh, that they put together for, for building the brand of the Indianapolis Colts from the business side. And I, I really enjoyed that as well. And um, other than that, I've been hanging out with my family, my wife and kids, and it has been a, a, a lot of fun to get as much time. I put them on the bus every morning, make them breakfast, and, and really get to spend a ton of time with them. My wife and I and, and, and my, my kids, we support a, a number of different charities uh, in Indianapolis, but, but some that are particularly uh, close to our heart is the Race for the Cure. We, uh, we, we've helped with the Survivors Parade for the Race for the Cure for breast cancer for a number of years, and, uh, and we do that every year. We really believe in that and, and love being a part with those men and women who have been affected with breast cancer. Um, we work with Riley's, Riley's Children's Hospital. That's been a, one that's been really close to our heart as well. And then the People's Burn Foundation is, is the one we're probably most closely uh, you know, tied to. And we've worked with that for so many years. Is, is that Camp Saturday or yeah, Saturday's camp, Kids? Yeah, yeah, Camp Saturday. And it's just a really cool way um, to get kids, burn victims, to a camp where they all feel normal for a week. On ESPN radio and stuff, I mm -hmm. hear they talk about their Mount Rush. What would yours be, and who would be on it? Uh, I did a, I did the Mount Rushmore for offensive linemen, and um, I had Anthony, Anthony Munoz, the uh, tackle. I had Bruce Matthews, uh, another tackle and guard. Um, both of those men, um, you know, Hall of Fame guys, they're just absolutely incredible players. Munoz basically changed the position of, of left tackle. Mike Webster, who is uh, probably the greatest center to ever play the game. And, and Webby, he, he defined the center position, uh, position with four Super Bowls with the, with the um, Pittsburgh Steelers. Maybe the greatest offensive lineman to ever play the game, offensive guard Larry Allen. And, and Larry, was, he was probably, I would say, he was on the best offensive line ever with the Cowboys um, for many years with, with Nate Newton. And, you know, um, th those two guards were just, just vicious. And I, I would watch him, and I was playing when he was playing for so many years. I'd watch him pull, and he would knock guys down almost every time he pulled. And once he did, he'd go to the next level and chase down defensive backs, and they'd be scared to death. You're going to be giving the commencement address at Trine University yeah. here in a few weeks. Any thoughts or encouragement for the students there as they get ready for their graduation and go out into the real world? I tell people, man, this is the most exciting time because you define who you are and you can set, and if it doesn't work the way that you like it, change it because there's nothing cemented. You know, your first job, you may not love it. The next one, you might, but, but don't feel pegged in. Don't feel like you, you, know, you have to know everything right away because you don't. And I didn't and your parents didn't. Nobody else did. Yeah. We're all trying to make our way as well. And, and, but just to be excited and understand you know, the world is, is at your feet and you can make it what you want. And the best part about it is your attitude is what makes the difference.